Toyota is currently up to something, and by all indications, this thing might change the automobile industry forever. And that's not all. It might also spell the end of the EV revolution and shift the attention of the world to a different power source for vehicles. Toyota's building a hydrogen combustion engine that threatens to send the EV manufacturers out of business. What does this mean for you? How does this hydrogen combustion engine work? And when will we get our hands on vehicles that use them? These and all other questions will finally get answered in this video. Keep watching! Introducing the Corolla Cross H2 concept by Toyota Toyota's pushing the boundaries of automotive innovation with the Corolla Cross H2 concept, featuring a groundbreaking hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine, ICE. This concept vehicle takes inspiration from Toyota's FCEV masterpiece, the Mirai, to harness the potential of hydrogen as a fuel source. The heart of this concept is a potent 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine derived from the GR Corolla and GR Yaris models, now optimized for hydrogen combustion. The incorporation of robust armored fuel tanks ensures the safe storage of hydrogen, while the engine receives reinforced components such as valves, valve seats, connecting rods, and fuel injectors, engineered for gaseous fuel usage. True to its Corolla lineage, the Cross H2 concept accommodates up to five passengers along with their cargo. The unveiling of this concept car reveals that Toyota has been doing some serious work with regard to the use of hydrogen gas to power automobiles. Ever since the groundbreaking launch of the Prius back in 1997, Toyota has held a pioneering role in the realm of hybrid and plug-in hybrid automobiles, effectively laying the groundwork for the ongoing electric vehicle frenzy. Yet, despite its innovative beginnings, the Japanese automaker has approached the all-electric movement with some level of reluctance and hesitation. Toyota's initial foray into the world of 100% EVs, the somewhat peculiarly named BZ4X, has seen a modest uptake, with just a few hundred units sold by mid-October 2022. Notably, a report from Electrek reveals that Toyota does not intend to kick its production into high gear until the year 2025. This measured pace towards all-electric adoption has been endorsed by Toyota's president, Aikio Toyota, who recently highlighted an intriguing perspective. As reported by the Wall Street Journal, Toyota remarked, Many stakeholders in the auto industry form a contemplative majority. This majority contemplates whether depending solely on EVs is truly the way to go. While acknowledging the prevailing trend, they remain cautious in voicing their thoughts aloud. The definitive path forward remains unclear, hence, we mustn't confine ourselves to a singular choice. Though this viewpoint sparks debate, it warrants thoughtful consideration. The prevalence of all electric vehicles, when viewed against the entirety of the new car market, still constitutes a relatively small fraction. This leaves room for an alternative vehicular direction, a path Toyota has consciously ventured upon. Let's see this novel propulsion system, the hydrogen combustion engine, and dive into the rationale behind Toyota's executives' belief that it holds the potential to overshadow and possibly outdate traditional EVs. A hydrogen combustion engine is a type of internal combustion engine that uses hydrogen as its primary fuel source, similar to how gasoline or diesel engines use their respective fuels. The basic principle behind a hydrogen combustion engine is to mix hydrogen gas with air, ignite the mixture, and use the resulting combustion to generate power and drive the vehicle. The simplified explanation of how a hydrogen combustion engine works starts with air intake. Like any internal combustion engine, a hydrogen combustion engine starts by drawing in air through an intake valve. Next, hydrogen gas is injected into the intake airstream. The hydrogen can be stored in onboard tanks or generated on demand using a hydrogen fuel cell system. The hydrogen gas mixes with the incoming air. This mixture of hydrogen and air is highly combustible and is compressed by the engine's piston as it moves upward in the cylinder. This compression increases the temperature and pressure of the mixture. Once the hydrogen air mixture is sufficiently compressed, a spark plug generates an electric spark to ignite the mixture. The ignition causes the hydrogen to combust, releasing a large amount of heat energy. The combustion of hydrogen rapidly expands the hot gases, creating a high-pressure force that pushes the piston downward in the cylinder. This motion is converted into rotational motion through the engine's crankshaft. After the power stroke, the exhaust gases, mainly water vapor, are expelled from the cylinder through an exhaust valve. The engine cycles of intake, compression, ignition, and exhaust repeat in rapid succession to produce a continuous source of power, propelling the vehicle forward. 
It's worth noting that while hydrogen combustion engines can provide an alternative to traditional gasoline or diesel engines, they still emit emissions in the form of water vapor and trace amounts of nitrogen oxides NOx, due to the high combustion temperatures. Also, Toyota's not stopping with this concept car. The company's partnership with Yamaha Motor has yielded an exciting development that is sure to captivate automotive enthusiasts. Collaboratively, they are crafting a hydrogen-fueled V8 engine, poised to set new performance standards. Drawing inspiration from the Lexus RC Coupe's 5.0-liter V8, this iteration boasts refined cylinder heads, advanced fuel injectors, and other enhancements. While delivering 455 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 398 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM, this hydrogen V8 pays homage to its gasoline predecessor, albeit with a distinctive auditory profile highlighted by an 8-into-1 top-mounted exhaust manifold. Now, the question that follows is, what are the upsides of using this hydrogen combustion engine? Well, first off, it streamlines refueling experiences. Hydrogen-powered cars present an intuitive and rapid filling process. Unlike conventional liquid fuels, hydrogen being a gas ensures swift replenishment, similar to filling a propane tank. Consider the swiftness of refilling a propane tank. A similar experience awaits hydrogen-powered vehicle owners. A striking example is the Toyota Yaris GRH2, which achieves full refueling in a mere minute and a half. A notable feat compared to conventional liquid fuel fill-ups, such as those required by the Toyota Camry with unleaded gasoline. Also, it works where other fuel types struggle. While diesel fuel has traditionally been relied upon for heavy hauling and towing, its vulnerability to freezing in sub-zero temperatures has been a well-known limitation. Unleaded fuel, on the other hand, exhibits greater resilience, enduring temperatures as low as negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit making it a more viable option in cold conditions, even factoring in wind chill. Lithium batteries, commonly used in EVs, can withstand temperatures down to negative 140 degrees Fahrenheit before freezing becomes a concern. However, hydrogen takes the lead with an astonishing capacity to endure temperatures as frigid as negative 435 degrees Fahrenheit, establishing itself as the optimal choice for global cold weather performance. Moreover, this advantage extends to hot climates, further underscoring hydrogen's remarkable adaptability across a broad spectrum of climates. The inherent drawbacks of lithium battery production lie in the scarcity of materials. Concerns have been raised, including by notable figures such as Toyota's former CEO Akio Toyota, regarding shortages in lithium and battery-grade nickel, essential components for EV batteries. This scarcity presents a potential obstacle to the widespread adoption of EVs. Hydrogen-powered engines, if meticulously engineered for maximum efficiency, can circumvent these material scarcity challenges, offering a promising alternative. In a practical context, the mechanical nature of hydrogen engines presents a clear advantage. As the EV trend gains traction, local auto repair shops, which have long been a staple in communities, could see their relevance diminish. While repairing electric powertrains may necessitate specialized knowledge and training, the beauty of hydrogen-driven engines lies in their similarity to their traditional counterparts. These engines remain inherently mechanical, enabling the neighborhood repair shops that car owners are accustomed to visiting to continue servicing and maintaining vehicles with ease. While the idea of utilizing hydrogen to power internal combustion engines is not a new concept, Toyota's groundbreaking approach has the potential to revolutionize the field. Notably, German automaker BMW introduced hydrogen power vehicles in the past, such as the 750HL in 2002 and the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. However, Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine represents a significant leap forward. This new engine takes inspiration from traditional gasoline-powered engines, but incorporates modifications that enable it to burn both hydrogen and gasoline. This unique dual-fuel capability sets it apart and signals a promising advancement. Toyota's strategy diverges from the prevailing trend in the industry, where many automakers are placing their bets solely on electric cars. Instead, Toyota is pursuing a diversified approach to achieve carbon neutrality, exploring various technologies to attain zero emissions. This approach gains particular relevance in the current global context, marked by energy supply concerns stemming from geopolitical events like the conflict in Ukraine. European nations are actively seeking ways to reduce energy consumption, as evidenced by measures such as Switzerland's proposal to limit non-essential EV usage, potentially through legal means. With all these advantages, it becomes clear that Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine is set to give the EV industry a run for its money. 
But will this actually happen? Let's wait and see, and while at it, you can share your comments and opinions in the comments section.